Welcome children to our very first flip classroom lesson. For science today, we are going to learn about plants and their parts. Make sure you have your nature study book with you because along the way, you need to take down some notes. Look at all these pictures here shown on this slide. What are they? Yes, they are actually plants. Now, even though these plants, they come in various shapes and sizes, most plants, they have the same basic plant parts that you're going to learn about in detail today. Before I start the lesson proper, think about these questions. Firstly, what makes a plant a plant? Secondly, what are the different parts of a plant? Thirdly, what are the functions of these parts? And last but not least, how do different parts work together to keep the plant alive? Now, in the earlier topic, we learned about the different systems in a human body. In a system, there are different parts working together to keep the organism alive. Likewise, a plant is also a system. There are different parts working together to keep the plant alive. Now, do you know some plant parts? Remember just now in the second slide that I, that I just showed you, that one only, had, only contained pictures or photographs of plants. Now, these pictures over here, they actually show parts of a, of a plant. You might have even eaten them before. Now, let's learn about these parts, the parts of a plant. You have the roots, you have the stem, you have the fruit, you have the flower, you have the leaf. Take note that all these words, you must spell them correctly. Now, at this point in time, I wish to remind you that in the first topic, in the first science topic, we learned about flowering and non-flowering plants. For non-flowering plants, they do not have flowers, they do not have fruits. So, please take note of that. Now, let's learn more about the leaves. Leaves, what do they do? And how do they keep the plant alive? Now, leaves, they make food for the plant. This is a very important function. Secondly, leaves trap light energy from the sun to make food. Now, children, for your information, this point over here about leaves trapping light energy from the sun to make food now, this is a process called photosynthesis. Now, in order for photosynthesis to occur, leaves, they have this green pigment called chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is needed in the process of photosynthesis. Now, how about leaves that are not green in color? Do they help to make, do they help to make food for the plant? Do they help to trap light energy from the sun to make food? Think about it. We can discuss this when we meet again in the classroom. Leaves have also these basic parts. Leaf stalk, leaf blade, and also veins. Right? Anytime you need, to, you, need, uh, you need to take down notes, just remember to press on the pause button. I will move on now. Now for leaves, you can also find, if you were to observe them, if you were to look really, really um, closely, or in fact, if you have the microscope, you put a leaf under the microscope, you are able to see tiny openings. Now, these tiny openings on the leaf, they actually help the plants to take in and also give out gases. And by the way, children, these tiny openings, they are called the stomata. Right, stomata. There are usually more stomatas on the underside, which is this part here, the underside of a leaf. All right. I repeat, to take in and give out gases, huh? these tiny openings on the leaf. Next, we move on to the stems. Now, the stem supports a plant. The stem also holds the leaves up so that they can get sunlight to make food. Okay, I'll just go back to, to this, these two points over here. Remember, anytime you need to take down any notes, just press on the pause button. 
Of course, you will need to press back the pause button in order to get it moving to the next slide. Now, some of the stems, there are different kinds of stems. Uh, there are different kinds of stems. Some stems, they grow straight up and are strong. For example, the bamboo plant, the stems are really strong and really straight. And some stems, they are very weak and hence they need to climb up onto other plants for support and they are called the climbers. And well, some stems, they creep along the ground. They spread horizontally along the ground and they are called creepers. Now let's go move on to the roots. Now roots hold the plant firmly to the soil. And roots have another very important function. They absorb water and minerals for the plant. Now water and mineral salts for the plant. This is a very important function as well. Not only the part about holding it firmly to the soil. And plants, they need the water, they need water to survive and minerals to grow well. Next, let's move on to flowers. The flower is usually the most attractive part of, of the plant and it will be developed into a fruit. So that's the flower, the function, the function of a flower, it develops into a fruit and it's actually usually, this usually the most attractive part of the plant. Now, ask yourself this question. What will happen to the plant if any one part is not doing its job or not working well, not functioning well? For example, if I remove all the leaves of a plant, what will happen to it? For example, if I were to cut away all the roots of a plant, what will happen to the plant? If I were to break the stem of a plant, what will happen to it? Now, write your prediction, turn to a brand new page, a fresh new page in your nature study book and write your prediction on it. Likewise, another question for you to think about. Just now we mentioned about non-green plants, non-green non -green leaves, are they able to make food for the plant? Think about these questions and once again, write down what you think on a, page, on a brand new page in your nature study book. Okay, with that, I shall end my lesson. Goodbye, everybody. I'll see you in, class, in the classroom.